Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another video for you uh, and going to have a bit of a subscriber video. Now for those of you instantly straight away that don't follow me on Facebook, maybe you should. Uh, I'll put the link underneath as I always do with all the videos. But go there, take a look, click like and you can keep up to date because I'm always putting little questions up there, um, little leaks into uh, builds and what's going on with reviews and there's quite a good community there. Um, it is getting a bit mental with questions I'll admit um, and by that I mean I'm find now starting to find it really difficult to keep uh, up to date with all the questions and stuff that you guys are asking so I may have to start leaning you to go towards the Overclock 3D forums for assistance but as far as like us having a chinwag about what's going on and kind of more personal stuff rather than you just coming to me to you know pick my brains all the time but us having more of like a friends relationship rather than you just using me as tech support that's kind of I mean we we have a quite a good laugh on there but anyway the video today uh, earlier on I put on Facebook did they want a review or did they want uh, a subscriber video and a lot of people said subscriber video and it wasn't until I started getting all the stuff out that I'd want to cover I realised quite how much work I've got to get done at the moment. But anyway, obviously at the moment I'll put the link underneath as well. We've got the um, competition which is ongoing which is being immensely popular and we're almost at the point already that we got to last year with entrance. So it's massively, massively popular but that's, you know, I mean, that's what we want at the end of the day bigger and better competitions will only come with more and more entrants so anyways yes uh right i really don't know where to start so i'll start with the biggest thing first cooler master are releasing a uh, 692 black and white edition it's actually the 692 advanced but then the black and white edition it's had a few subtle changes We've obviously got black and white on the outside now, but rather than an all white internals, it's now got uh, uh, black internals. I'm gonna be reviewing this pretty shortly. Uh, believe it or not, it's actually got a bulldozer rig in it, which is kind of leans you to uh, another review that I'm gonna be doing. Um, the bits have actually been here for a little while. I've just not been able to get around to doing it, but that's something we are gonna be doing fairly shortly. Uh, I'm actually really look, looking forward to the case because I've, um, I've always liked these and I've used these in a couple of builds before and I've got to admit that the, the monochrome on it is really, really nice. As far as I'm aware, that's one of the, uh, I think it's the only one in the UK at the moment. Um, I don't know whether any shops have got them yet, but I know that got sent in specially for me. Uh, something else that we're going to be doing is um, 7970 from Gigabyte. This literally arrived about 15 minutes ago. Um, it's a 7970 from Gigabyte with the Windforce cooler on it as well. Um, so it'll be good to see if the overclocks are good on this and obviously with the temperatures as well. Power supply wise, we've got um, an Enamax Platamax. This will be next week. Uh, this is the 1000 watt overclock edition, which is the 1000 watt single rail unit, not the six rail units that the other ones are. Um, and this is looking to be a uh, bloody good power supply. But we'll be doing a full uh, written write up because um, obviously we've got... Um, uh, a proper power supply tester and Jim does all the testing um, and obviously rates the back end out of them in our hot box and everything but we're going to be doing that and then I'll be doing a, uh, a video to complement it about the aesthetics and my thoughts on it um, and all that kind of stuff so right we've got that uh, now uh, another thing that I put on Facebook that a lot of people commented on was I was trying to work out what you would like from the channel uh, and by that I mean, um, not that I was going to stop doing stuff, but maybe that I try and do more of a certain thing or less of a certain thing and try and give you guys a little bit more content. Now I know a lot of you will say we don't care what you do, you just want it, but I want to try and make it um, uh, interesting for you to keep you coming back and we'll keep doing things. Something that uh, we did, uh, what did, was very popular is obviously my builds. People love my builds. so. You know, whether I'm doing a review build or whether I'm doing a custom build like I did for Haley, people seem to really like that. So I'm going to kind of keep going with that theme. Um, and anyway, uh, Coolants uh, is something that keeps coming up. Um, and I deal a lot with special tech in the UK. To be perfectly honest with you, special tech are my own personal favoured uh, water cooling guys. Um, one of the, the strange things is that not a lot of people understand with special tech is they actually hold stock. Um, and by that I mean there's a couple of other really big UK um, uh, water cooling shops that um, water cooling uh, shops 
in the UK. Anyway, they don't hold next to any stock. They actually get drop shipped in from Germany. Uh, and yeah, and uh, to be perfectly honest with you, it's just one of those really weird things where it's, you've got a company that's obviously investing money and time and effort into stock. They've got, you know, really good customer service. Obviously, no shop's perfect, but they've got really good customer service and they're a really good bunch of guys as well. Um, so I'm 100% behind Special Tech, which is why I will keep using them and stuff as well. And anyway, I was talking to Special Tech about coolant stuff. Um, and uh, basically, long and short of it is, I've got a big stack of coolant stuff here. Um, we've got the CPU coolers, or a CPU cooler, and dropping boxes. I've got a pair of 7970 water blocks. Rampage 4 Extreme water block set. Then I've got uh, basically a couple of the new 240 radiators, a 360 radiator, and then a bay, bay reservoir. Now, I'm gonna show you these because I've taken them out so I can give you a look. But when I took these out of the box, I wasn't expecting them to look this nice. Honestly, was not expecting this. I'm, I got, yeah, these look awesome. So, right, this is the CPU block. This is 2011 compatible. Now, I thought it was just like a matte silver, but it's, as you can see, the camera and everything in it, it's nickel, and it's mirror nickel as well, and it does look the kahunas. Massively, massively surprised with this. Now, I'll show you one of the 7970 blocks, but you can see the acetal, but again, you can see the nickel. It really does look the dogs, and I'll show you the back as well. Now obviously I've got a pair of these, and then we have the Rampage 4 blocks, again nickel, and then the uh, acetal. They really, really do look so nice. I can't go over it, I'm surprised, very, very surprised how nice that they look. Now um, uh, there was only, I think Special Tech had so the 10 or 15 7970 water blocks come in and I instantly nabbed a pair of them. But they're gonna be getting more in soon and they're gonna be bringing a lot more stuff in as well because uh, coolants actually do some really nice fittings as well. Uh, swivel 45s and 90s they do and amongst a lot of other stuff. Um, so I'm gonna be getting some of those fittings, uh, some of the black barbs as well. And basically the, the reason why I've got all this is uh, I'm gonna be doing a build with the Rampage 4, a pair of 7970s, 3960X, uh, all water cooled with the coolants kit in a Cosmos 2 because everyone kept asking me about doing a build in a Cosmos 2 and how would I lay it out and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to dig the Cosmos 2 out where it's actually still in my front room, sat by the side of the telly. Um, why it's sat by the side of my telly, I don't know. It just seems to have been put there and forgotten about. But yeah, the Cosmos 2 is going to be coming out, so we're going to be doing a full build in the Cosmos, looking at all the temps, looking at all the radios. It's more of a Rather than a review, it's more of a showcase of what you can do uh, and to show you the stuff that's all available from Special Tech and obviously the coolants range as well because they've got loads of it. Um, and to be perfectly honest with you, if the range looks as good as this, this stuff, I, I can't believe I've not used it before because this is the first time I've had coolants kit in and I'm uh, in awe to be perfectly honest with you. Really, really nice designs and the quality is there as well. Um, so what else are we going to be doing? Uh, we're going to be building, a, we are going to be doing a lot more stuff in between videos, sort of like a quick look at this, a quick look at that, have a look at this. Um, but something I've, I did the six hour um, Shinobi video a little while ago. It's like a temp rig for myself. I just wanted to change my case, which is pretty much all I've really done over the past sort of like year or two. Um, I've not really, you know, done myself anything big. Uh, but... Uh, many of the subscribers will know the kind of the background of the where the name comes from for the channel why it's called time to live uh, and the, the kind of story behind my mum passing away and stuff like that and I'm not looking for sympathy forget that but it's just something that is very dear to me and I like to keep that kind of thing quite close so many of you may have seen something appear on my I've mentioned it in the past but at the specs have recently gone onto the Facebook page 
um, it, in the info you can see the uh, the specs um, and basically that's going to be the uh, build that I'm going to be doing in a Corsair 600T and I'm going to keep the 600T um, probably for quite a little while actually there's something I don't know there's a product that may be coming out uh, after the summer and I don't know you know whether it's been a hundred percent confirmed or anything yet but I may switch rigs then which will mean a new case but for the time being I'm going to be doing a build in the 600T I'm going to be calling it Orca so we're going to be doing a black and white theme build basically because uh, whales were a very big passion of my mum's um, and a favourite whale were the killer whales which are, were are called Orcas so we're going to be doing a black and white theme build um, now uh, Obviously, I've got now a very close relationship with Corsair, which you know, I mean, I really don't mind admitting. It's really good to have a big brand like that support me, um, but also to support the like the website itself. But they basically they said to me, do you know, what I mean, if when I first mentioned about doing the 600T a while ago, they said to me, do you know, what I mean, let us know and we'll sort you out some kit. Um, obviously, now I've got an even better relationship with them. They pretty much said it's open doors. Um, so uh, in the, the rig itself basically it's going to be based around a Gigabyte UD5 2011 uh, 3960X um, I'm going to be putting either an AX750 or an AX850 in there I don't know yet um, I've obviously got some Corsair custom cables here that are individually braided but I've got some news for you that I've actually got some proper full on custom cables being done at the moment um, for that in white. Uh, I can't say too much about it but hopefully within the next week or so they should be getting sent back to me and they're being made for me specifically by a company that makes cable. Oh sorry I don't care. Bit Phoenix are basically I've sent them my Corsair cables, my original ones and then basically gonna uh, alchemy braid me a set of um, Corsair cables as a one-off. Um, now I wasn't meant to say too much about it yet, but we'll talk about it later on um, when the, the kit arrives. But yeah, that is going to be getting done. Um, and uh, depending on your response when we do the, the actual video to show the cables, they may roll them out as a completely new range. Now, this was something that I spoke to them about when I met them recently. Um, and yeah, depending on your response when we do that video depends on whether they will actually make them as a product line. Um, also, everyone kept saying to me about windows, shouldn't have fan grills, not going to happen. The Shinobi XL, when that comes out, the, will be the first one that they're going to have a window in it without the fan grills. Again, you spoke, I listened, I kind of have been saying it for a, 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 an age anyway, we share the same thoughts on that. That's now not going to happen. So through us talking and us discussing, we're now finally being able to make changes to products before they've even been released. So I feel quite good about that, that they're listening to me. And I also feel quite good about the fact that, you know what I mean, there's a lot of us out there that share these thoughts. Uh, and now I'm actually being able to, you know, bring them out. But there's a lot of stuff that I'm personally going to be working on with BitPhoenix on several product ranges over the coming months so stay tuned um, the Shinobi XL is just you, kind of the, the tip of the iceberg there's a lot of little things that I'm you know I've suggested and we're going to be working on together on stuff now so yes um, anyway back to Orca uh, yeah AX it's going to have a custom set of alchemy cables you will see those very soon um, they've gone now they've gone off to be done and they're literally they've got them on lightning fast they're going to get them in and around um, I should be there's a lot of stuff you're going to be seeing with me and Phoenix anyway um, so yeah AX uh, cooling I'm going to be using a H100 quite surprisingly many of you may think but I've recently been testing the Noctua NF uh, F12 focus flow fans on the H100 and I'm amazed by it and I mean amazed by it. I've still not tested it in a case yet, but basically I've been running the F12s off of 12 volts and you can barely hear them. Uh, I just turn the pump up to max because I don't connect the fans into the thing. I actually run the Noctuas off of a dedicated Molex line so that they're spinning at full speed, but you can't really hear them. Um, and yeah, if you compare them with the Corsairs at the same RPM, the temperatures are vastly different. They're such good fans. 
well, that'll be something I'll be covering in review as well because I've got some of those fans. I'm going to be doing it on the H100 just to give you a bit of a look. Um, obviously, it adds a lot of price to the H100, but if you want it, you've got big RAM, all that kind of stuff. I've not found any better fans yet, and I've been taking the fans on and off the H100 for ages. Obviously, I'm not going to do a big roundup, but they are chuffing awesome. Um, uh, solid state drive wise, I've actually got a pair of uh, Force 3 GTs. I'm trying to cover it up. Um, but yeah, I've got a pair of Force 3 GTs, but rather than getting the, like, the 120 gigs, the 240 gigs, I've actually got two 480 gigabyte solid state drives. These are $1,100 each. Um, so we've got $2,200 worth of solid state drives going in Orca. RAM wise, I'm going to be using 64 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance. So I'm going to have eight times eight gigabyte sticks uh, running at 1866. Now, a lot of you are going to be saying to yourselves, oh my God, do you know what I mean? That's an immense amount of uh, solid state drive. Now, I've still got to test it yet because I know it works with a single drive. I don't know whether it works with RAID, but you can basically set some of your RAM up to run as cash for your solid state drive. Um, so that's one of the things I'm going to be playing around with is, uh, and it basically can set the read speeds up to being like 5,000 mega second. Um, so essentially what I'll be doing is playing around with that, seeing if I can get the, the RAM cache running with uh, the solid state drives in RAID because I still don't know whether that can be done yet. Single drive, I know works. RAID, don't know until everything comes. But anyway, the RAM kit, it's a 32 gig kit. So four times eight gigabyte sticks is like $750. So I've got two of those coming. Um, so when you say it, do you know what I mean? Just in RAM and solid state drives, looking at $3,700 worth of kit. Add the case, the power supply, and the um, H100 in, and you're looking at like over $4,200 worth of Corsair kit going in it alone. Add the, um, the, the processor in and the motherboard, uh, and then maybe the, the customizations and stuff that I'm going to end up doing on the case and you're looking at an immense amount of money's worth of kit. Now, uh, graphics card wise, um, I've been testing as well uh, different graphics cards because I don't play games on my main rig. I just need it to work on three screens and then I render. Now, graphics cards with um, Sony Vegas, which is what I use to do my videos, Graphics cards with Sony Vegas, you can have GPU acceleration, but because I render the videos in Windows Media Video to go onto YouTube, so I've got control over the you know megabits a second and the quality that goes onto YouTube and all that kind of stuff, it doesn't seem to work very well with the graphics cards. Windows Media Codec really doesn't seem to utilize the graphics so much, which is why I've been so heavily using CPU um, stuff. So I'm going to be the graphics card I'm going to be using, for the time being at least, is going to be a Zotac GTX 560 Multiview, uh, which supports three screens out of the box, which is obviously, you know, I didn't really need a massive card. I could have used a GTX 550, to be perfectly honest with you, and used one of those Multiviews, but we're going to be using the 560 Multiview, uh, and then that's another reason why I need uh, a lot of RAM, because I'll be doing, um, probably allocating... Uh, at least 24 gigabyte of RAM to uh, Vegas, maybe a bit more. It depends on how much RAM I allocate to the solid state drive cache. Because um, I'm thinking kind of like somewhere between kind of 20 and 30 gig uh, RAM cache to go for the solid state drive, if I can get it all working. Um, it really is just the, the whole idea of the machine is a render machine. Um, and really, once I've built this, the only place for me to move on from this will be a dual socket board later on. Uh, either a server board or one of the really high ends, but we'll see how the products come. That's what I'm about later on this year. But yeah, really the only place for me to move on from this after I've built this rig will be a Xeon rig um, or a dual Xeon rig. So we'll just have to see where things go and how things kind of move. But just to be able to move up from my 990, which has been an amazing processor up to 3960X, especially once it's overclocked, it'll be amazing. I'm only going to be aiming for something like a 4.6 clock, but um, the... The, the speeds that the 2011s are at those kind of uh, overclocks is just, it, it's nuts. They're just so immensely quick and it, it'll make a massive difference to my render times. Um, I'll be wanting to spend more money trying to get more upload then going back to my ISP going, come on, you're going to have to sort my line out. Um, but yeah, so we've got a lot of stuff coming. I can't see how long we've been chatting for. Nearly 20 minutes, so probably should uh, be quiet. Um, 
What other stuff are we going to be doing? Uh, just to be quick, I've got uh, uh, one of the Lano boards here, the 39, sub, whatever it is, 3970K Lano board. Uh, going to be doing a Lano board, um, and we're going to be doing hybrid crossfire. So we'll be sticking a low-end uh, AMD graphics card in it, teaming the two up for the hybrid crossfire, see where we get. May try and do some kind of uh, basic build out of it. Um, but it really depends. I've not really got any small power supplies here at the moment uh, to be able to do that kind of thing. But we will see. May end up just being a kind of hybrid crossfire review. Uh, what other stuff are coming? I've got new test bench coming in. Uh, I've got, although that's not actually left yet, but I know they're making me one at the moment because I asked for it to be white. Um, so we've got that coming in. Case labs, I've got uh, the TH10 coming. Uh, which is the, the single tower version, not the cube, but the really big tower. That's coming in. They're doing me that in uh, satin white. I'm actually getting the first one. I'm just waiting to hear from them now to say that it's left the US. Um, solid state drives. Yes, I've got uh, another, uh, I've got a Mushkin solid state drive that I need to do. There's a fair old bit. We've got a 570 we're going to be doing just as a video. Um, there's going to be a basic graphics card review early next week that the NDA gets lifted Tuesday. Um, yeah, there's a fair old amount that we've, you know, we're going to be doing. Obviously, keep an eye on the channel, but keep an eye on OC3D as well. But uh, Facebook, I'm trying to use Facebook a lot more lately. Uh, it's like uh, more of a personal thing. Like I said, the questions are starting to get a bit out of hand, but kind of the more personal kind of interaction with you, that's where it is. Um, uh, questions, like I said, I'm probably going to end up having to ask people to move on to the forums for that, and I'll try and help you there, because it's it's just getting daft. I'll get up every morning, and there's just pages of questions, and it's just oh, starting to blow my brains. Um, but yes, uh, also, right at the very end, uh, I've got the possibility that I may actually be taking a holiday this year, and it'll be the first time in two or three years that I have. And I, by holiday, I mean I will actually be going away from home and taking some time out. But uh, if I go, it's going to be a biking holiday. So I need to know, do you want me to film a load of it? Because I've got a 1080p head cam um, that I can take with me. Obviously, I can take my laptop with me, take that around. I can do like literally my holiday video blog. Um, probably not going to be able to start uploading until I get back. Uh, but if it's anything like when we've done it before, it's just... It's quite crazy. Basically, we uh, we hire a van, we stick all our bikes and all in the back, take a load of camping gear, and we essentially drive up to Fort William. Uh, we'll be watching the World Cup downhill racing in Fort William. After we've spent a couple of days at Fort Bill watching that, we'll then spend uh, seven to ten days working our way back down the country through different bike parks. So for me personally, um, I've got a ride uh, in Eleven because that's my favourite place in the country. Absolutely amazing, just outside of Peebles. It's technically part of Glen Tress, but it's not, and it's awesome. Even the free ride park is just absolutely unbelievable. It's so flowy and poppy and pumpy. It's just unreal. Absolutely love it there. Uh, I really want to go back and do AE as well. Um, we normally actually stay in Dumfries and go out from there. We did that for a week last time. We just kept going all over the place. There's also just outside of Dumfries, the most amazing roadside kind of shack calf ever. And for three quid, you get like potato cakes, uh, uh, haggis, black pudding, basically a proper Scottish breakfast for like three quid and you get a cup of tea or coffee. Absolutely unbelievable. Every time we go, we go back to the same bloke and it's the last few years it's been him as well. It's awesome. So we'll, I'll have to take you there if you want a video of it. Um, uh, and then I, the only other place that I really kind of have to ride personally is Cum Khan in Wales because that's kind of a regular haunt for us or at least it used to be. Um, but I've not got a downhill bike at the moment. I've only got my uh, go bike, the green orange. Uh, so that's my kind of like cross country play rig. You know, well, my cross country kind of like, you know, just riding rig. Um, so I've got to get a, a big rig built as well. And I've only got like uh, four months or whatever to be able to build it. So I'm on the, the lookout there. I'm, I don't know, kind of thinking Scott Octane old school or I always used to really love my mongoose. Um, then there was a mongoose on eBay I was looking at the other day and yeah I really don't know but let me know what you think about that because that's massively off topic that's really kind of personal TTL stuff 
and it'd be good to know what you think. Um, I can't really think of anything other else that I really should be talking to you about. I probably shouldn't have spoken this long already. But yeah, don't forget guys, Facebook, feedback, comments, i love to hear from you. Uh, oh, something else I will say is on YouTube at this present moment in time, when you send me a message, I can't reply because they've buggered the messaging up. I don't know what it is. Every single message that I get sent, I have to go to the person's channel and then send them a personal message that way. It's a proper pain in the butt cheeks. Um, but I'll, you know, I mean, I'm trying my best for it. It's just things are getting immensely busy at the moment. I might actually have to hire Mr. Strawberry as a full-time member of staff just to be able to keep up with all this stuff because it's getting absolute lunacy. Um, oh, and another thing is, uh, last things last, is I've signed up to the Base79 Gamers Network on YouTube. So the uh, adverts in the videos, you're not going to get anything crap anymore. They're all going to be heavily targeted um, technology adverts. Um, because Base79 are going to be supplying the ads for me. So they're going to be like basically like my uh, advertising kind of salespeople. Um, so rather than having, you know, whatever YouTube's playing at that moment in time, they will be ones that people have paid to want to see on my channel specifically. And although that's a lot of you, they're not really going to make a lot of difference to you. Um, it's just a big step forward to me that I've had because uh, Base79 are the third biggest um, uh, YouTube partner. You've got uh, Vivo first, which is the, uh, the music videos. Mission Ema, which is obviously gaming videos, and then Base79. Well, I've just signed up with Base79 to become a, you know, join their team and their partner. I still do everything exactly the same. It's just they're going to be putting the ads on my channel, and it means I make more money. So if I make more money, that means I'm happier, less stressed, and it also means that I then have got the possibility of doing things like extra with straws, doing different shows. Um, it'll just it'll change my life. It'll mean that rather than me getting by it will mean I am actually making money um, because as many of you know YouTube started as a hobby for me uh, as like therapy for me to get over my mum dying and now it's really starting to get real 2012 has been a complete turning point for me the channel stats are up through the roof the watches are up through the roof um, everyone's talking about it uh, and now I've been approached by these guys because they want to bring me in because obviously they want to make me money but because I can make them money so it, everything's gone just crazy um yeah uh let me know what you think anyway I'm going to be quiet now get this video rendered because it's been long enough so it's going to take a month for Sundays for me to not only render it but upload it but every everything I've mentioned in this video go and talk about on uh Facebook look for the thread with this video in it and we can all sit there and chat about it because I honestly honestly want to get your feedback on this peeps so for now at least just a whole video of me chatting it's tiny Tom Logan out oh I didn't click <laughs>